Hi guys, Vincent Rose here, Honest Nutrition. Just wanted to give y'all a quick video real quick. I just got back from the grocery store, and so I figured, um, you know, I, I've sent most of you guys the uh, the, the grocery list, and y'all have got back to me letting me know uh, what it is that you like, and based on that is what I make your meal plans on. Um, so this is just, I just got back from the grocery store myself. I wanted to cut a quick video for you guys and kind of show you the way that I shop, some of the things that I choose from the grocery list. Um, that I stick to religiously and I mean this is the stuff that I've eaten day in day out spicing it up different ways um, but this is what took me from 23% body fat down to 6% body fat in a three and a half four month time frame so first thing that you will see on the list the grocery list whenever I send it to you it has all the protein sources just some protein sources I normally go to on a day-to-day -day basis um, I shop from Walmart uh, I know some of you guys go to Sam's clubs and stuff like that that maybe save cost a little bit um, but for me chicken's a great source I don't go I don't eat a lot of fish every now and then I'll eat tuna uh, but chicken chicken's a staple of what I eat daily so I'll normally at least have one chicken meal throughout the course of a day you can get a family size five pound bag for only eight bucks it's not that bad um, and it's very 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 cost effective another protein source that I like to go to is just good old-fashioned eggs and as you'll know um, I do the egg white route so this is literally five dozen eggs for under nine bucks you know so this will literally last me if you're making um, at least for me because I'm more weight training and things of that nature not necessarily just doing cardio but I add weights in um, I go through a minimum of 12 egg whites a day great source of protein very low on fats uh, many of you are having omelets in the morning um, if you're a lady, one of my clients that happens to be a lady, your omelets are probably four to six egg whites. Guys are normally bumping them up from nine to 12, depending on how hungry you are and what you want to mix with it. So egg whites are another great protein source. And then the last protein source that I normally go to daily is just fat-free turkey breast. Extremely low in calories. Um, it's only 25 calories per slice, five grams of protein, zero fat, a little bit high on the sodium. But either way, very, very, very good source, whether or not um, you're adding this in with some of your stir fries, I'll get to that in a minute, or if you're just eating turkey sandwiches or maybe having um, turkey salads, things of that nature. So another great source of protein. So those are the three that I kind of go to daily. And then on top of that, this is also for the smoothies, but whey protein. And I get mine, like I said, Walmart, $14.95. Uh, how many servings are in this? You get... 24 servings um, and each scoop contains 26 grams of protein so not bad for $14.95 some people will tell you depending on what type of whey protein you get some are better than others I haven't found that to be so so with that being said this is kind of what I stick to so those are my four protein sources from there if you move along on the the grocery list you get to the vegetable sources right so my staple for vegetable sources and this is just me you can have whatever vegetable sources you like but for me i stick to four basics daily every day every day every day every day every day don't switch it up a whole lot every now and then i'll add some more to it but one of them is just being good old-fashioned broccoli um, i don't like eating it raw but uh, i love it in stir fries i love when i cook them uh, same thing with bell peppers and i don't eat these raw normally this is going to go in my stir fries uh, Walmart was out of asparagus tonight. That's another one that I go to, low calorie, very low carb. All of these are low carb. And uh, I didn't need to restock on onions, but those are my four staple vegetables that I go to. I got broccoli, I got bell peppers, I got onion, I got asparagus. Every now and then I'll throw maybe some like tomatoes or some carrots in there, but for the most part, these are the four that I stick to. Fruit sources, as y'all know, um, moving on down to smoothies, right? Um, I throw a banana in every single one of my smoothies. I throw an apple in every single one of my smoothies, and then some form of frozen berries. So in this case, you got berry medley. This is strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, red raspberries, or I'll just go the blueberry route, either or. But if you add these three together, some form of frozen, uh, some form of frozen berries, a banana, an apple, um, almond milk or any kind of milk that you want to use is really fine and then for me I'll normally throw two scoops of protein in with it depending if you're weight training or not you might want to just throw one in for flavor um, some people don't even like to throw in whey protein at all totally fine even if you just had these with milk and you wanted to throw Splenda in there totally fine just to, to add some sweetness 
one thing I just found tonight, I know some people are really, 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 really big on cheese. I picked this up tonight for you guys. Fat-free cheese, mozzarella, or cheddar. Both of these, you could add to any stir fry or any salad or any combination that you wanted to. Uh, a quarter of a cup of cheese. There's zero fat, there's nine grams of protein. Great source and it's never ever ever gonna put you above um, to the maintenance level. You'll still remain definitely in a caloric deficit. And then last thing I wanted to cover with you guys, um, and my big thing is this, I, as y'all y'all seen the pictures of how I eat, I eat lots of stir fries. I'll have a smoothie in the morning, just because I'm not a morning person, it's very easy and quick to make a very, very, very fast smoothie. Quick clean up, I'll have that in the morning. I'll cook my stir fries, so that'll be two meals throughout the day, and then depending on how I'm feeling in the evening, I'll either have some other type of cooked meal, or I'll just have another smoothie. So that's how I break it up. But one thing that I add for flavor into my stir fries, if y'all go to, if you shop from Walmart, it's called Bistro Sensations. They have about three or four different types of these sausage, sausages, and I swear by these. For stir fries, there is six grams of fat. There's 120 calories, but the way that I do it is this. I will make a stir fry, a bunch of vegetables all at once. I'll cut one of these up, dice it up, and I'll throw it in there and then I'll have enough vegetables cooking that it'll make three meals. So yes, there are six grams of fat. Yes, the sodium is a little bit high. Yes, there is 120 grams of calories, but I'm not eating one of these with every single meal. I might have one a day max, and it'll be spread out over three meals because I'll make it all on a stir fry at once. Anyhow, that's just kind of how I do things. Um, I hope that helps a little bit. Uh, I just thought it'd be really cool to kind of just, since I just got back from grocery shopping, kind of show you guys how I shop, how I eat, and uh, I'm going to be making some more videos here very shortly of me actually doing some cooking in the kitchen, showing you how I prepare some of these stir fries, how I season things up, how I keep everything high protein, high vegetables, low carb, low sugar, low fat, and uh, how to turn your body into pretty much a furnace. I mean, literally fat will drop off of you like a hot knife through butter. So I hope some of this helped, and uh, I look forward to talking some more with you guys. If you have any questions, Hit me up, you got my number, and uh, absolutely, man, honest nutrition. Keep